Madden Fox was uploaded on Webtoon on April 26, 2018. Hello, I'm Wodewan. Let's start the review. I tried to do research before getting into the review. This is all I know about the creator, based on Webtoon, DeviantArt, and YouTube. Snow Elsian or Felnox is a Finnish artist and cartoonist who created Madden Fox. We should begin with the plot. The story begins with the main protagonist, a fox named Fox, abruptly finding herself on an island. She appeared there Pokemon Mystery Dungeon style, however, the difference was that she still has her memories. My dog! Even the house screams Mystery Dungeon! The other animals, who I don't know if they are also foxes, hear her story. I have always lived on an island with my parents, until one day a huge flood destroyed our home. We tried to escape together with her log, but we got separated. I ended up here. But I don't know what happened to my parents. They're obviously dead. Fox does not believe in the stranger's claims and decided to go out on her own to find her parents. Fox then stumbles upon a store. Oh hey, that box is a store? Hmm, do I smell fish? Good evening. What are you looking for at this late hour? I smelled fish, and uh, can I have some? I haven't eaten today. Oh, that's my dinner. I can sell the leftovers at a low price. Just then, Fox gets tackled for paying the storekeeper with air. This island must have a high crime rate. Fox gives up, falls into a hall, and finds herself with a creature called a fawn leg. She then finds herself in a cave. That's where what I first thought was the antagonist of the story appears. But no, this creepy character who somehow knows Fox saves her. The two actually become good acquaintances. The creepy purple fox, or Jeskina, Jeskina, helps Fox with supplies to begin finding her parents. Later on in the story, I see a vibe of them potentially having a romantic feelings, I guess. But if that's the case, why does Jeskina know Fox already? Don't tell me she stalks. He wants it. We need it. With motivation, Fox heads out to the world to begin finding her parents until... Fox? Do I know you? Oh yeah, you were with Ruby and the other one. I'm going to the shop, too. Can I follow you there? I'm not sure where it is. Sure. Have you been living in a cave? Yes. They then return back to the store Fox was tackled from yesterday. We also get world building that there are gems as currency, magic, religion, island, lore, and a Trixie X Tales love child. Now that Fox was ready, she sets forth on her adventures to find her parents. At this point on, I encourage you guys to follow the rest of the pages. There hasn't been an update in months, but I'm eager to see where the plot would go. Elsian, I hope you'll recover from your burnout. Now about the characters. Fox, who to me looks like a cat with fox paint, is adorable. I want a plushie of this character right away. Like, now. <laughs> I see this character as a headstrong motivator and is loyal to finding and, and with trusting such as finding her parents. Sometimes she has a temper problem and snaps or jumps to conclusions, but when she is thinking, the character is good at being flexible with her plans. Jeskina, she has a tragic backstory. She's isolated, stuck on an island most of her life. Well, that's what I think what happened. Even though around the time of recording, her backstory isn't completed, I have a comic theory that Jeskina was Fox's old friend from when they were young that Fox forgotten about. Which would explain why she knew her. As for the cave thing, B 
Being isolated for years can really affect people's mental state. I would still ship them. Unless it becomes canon that they're related, then no ship. No, no, no. <laughs> As for the West, the characters on the island have a vibe of being up to no good. You'll see what I mean when you read it. Also, if this video blows up, please don't look at the comments section until you read this comic. I guarantee that beyond my control, there would be spoilers below. As for the art, it's a cute style. Drawn in full color, the comic has a style reminiscent of Sonic the Hedgehog, but it still has a different enough style. I do see references from other cartoons here and there. The Cosmos character does look a little like it belongs in a Pokemon video game. Even though the backgrounds are simple, there is a charming style to its simplicity which I think works. Only issue, many of the characters look too similar to each other in body type. I know I'm being hypercritical but I'm just saying. Madden Fox is a comic I really want you guys to check out. It was the first time I have ever binge read something on Webtoon. Definitely give it a shot. This message is to Elsian. I really hope you recover from burnout soon, but take your time and continue when you feel ready. I am very excited to see where Fox in the island would flow at her in, in, in a future episode. Hope this video is enough of an inspiration for you to continue. Thank you for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe to support this channel and for me to know that there is an audience who likes to watch these videos. I hope this was fun to watch. Have a good read and I'll see you later. I hope this was fun to watch. Have a good read. Come play with me, world. Come play with me forever and ever and ever. Ah!